And you really see plastic in every corner of the world, laying, polluting. Um, so I figured it's such a big problem, maybe we should start working on that. Precious plastic, for instance, is very um, a bunch about the machine, trying to find a machine that recycles plastic. Basically, we have uh, four machines to, to work with the plastic. We have one shredder that chops it into small pieces, um, and that's used in, in the other machines to make something new. So for instance, an injection machine, the plastic is heated up in a tube, and if you press it, it comes out into a mold. Another machine is the extrusion machine, so it's a screw that turns around, and if you put in the plastic, it creates like this, this thin line that comes out. You can use that, for instance, to make 3D printer filament. And the third machine is this oven, um, and you put in a mold and you slowly bake it. It's a bit like baking cookies, but then plastic. But I think it's a bit bigger than that. It's also about doing something with a community. So not on your own, having a company that produces the machines and ships it to every part of the world, but really share it open source. So everyone can just start and begin and learn from each other. So we really rely on people that sharing feedback and and helping as well. Everyone should do it, that not every household has a machine, but more of like one place in the village where you bring your plastic, there's a guy or a girl who understands it, like the expert. In the beginning, we really aimed more for developing countries, mainly because there, the plastic problem is a bit more intense than here. But what about a big city? How would, how would they do it? I think that would require a little bit more advanced machines. Just because we have the technology, we can use robot arms to sort it out. The industry doesn't really work or develops because they work differently. So we sort of have to reinvent a lot of things ourselves. But I, I, I like that process of something impossible and slowly making it a bit possible. Yeah. There's a, a lot of plastic being thrown away and a lot of new plastic being made. You can actually recycle plastic very good, like metal or glass. You need very high temperatures, but plastic is kind of easy, um, which is kind of weird because it doesn't really happen. They say less than 10% of all the plastic um, gets recycled. The rest is just burned, goes to a landfill or ends up in the ocean. So back then you might have seen why would we do it, but now you see, I mean, you hear it in the news, on the internet, you see the problems of plastic. So I think people now, and just like me, start to realize like we need to do something about it. <laughs>